Well, good afternoon, everybody. It is Malik, and we're back with the hackthissite.org realistic missions. All right, so let's see where we're at now. I'm gonna scroll down here, get into my realistic missions. And come on. You can do it. Here we go. All right. So let's see what we have. We are in realistic seven. Difficulty rating has changed to moderate, but it is a it is a little tricky. And again, this one this one had me stumped because of something that I saw uh, halfway through the mission. But anyway, what we have is a, a hate group spreading their conservative propaganda, blind obedience, and bigotry, warmongering. Help tolerance activists take over the website of ignorance and discrimination. Okay, let's take a look at the challenge itself. All right. So we got a uh, freedom of choice from freedom of choice. <clears throat> it says I invite you to take a look at the hate speech being spewed over the web at Realistic Seven. Funny the conservatives keep saying they want to protect the values of America, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, all right, there is an admin section on the website somewhere, perhaps hidden among their directory structure. It would be a great fight against moral tyranny and a victory for freedom if you could somehow hack into their website. So we need to figure out where the admin section is and how to get into it. So as usual, we have to do a little bit of recon to see how the site is set up. So the main landing page here looks pretty normal. I have a couple of links down here at the bottom. So let's take a look at these links. Okay, there we go. And same three links, they just moved them to a different spot. Okay. And okay. All right, well, if you take a look, again, a great thing to take a look at is always the URL and see what's happening up at the top. This is very similar to one of the other challenges that we, we did when we did the SQL injections where you saw category equals one, category equals two. Uh, they still have a single page called showimages.php. And what it does is it just loads in a different text file every now and again, which are really just all these pictures down here at the bottom. Overall, this is the same page. Well, let's take a look at their code. Okay. So here's some stuff here down here at the bottom. We see image source equals images slash war one, images slash war two, images slash war three. Well, what that's telling us is they have a folder called images. Huh, well that may come in handy. Okay, so let's go up here and, well I won't do it on this one, but let's go up here and change it from, from realistic seven slash and let's move into the images folder. Again, we're doing nothing but directory transversal. These are all of their files in the images folder. And look what we see here. We see admin. Okay. Now, I think we're home free. We go to admin and oh, oh. There is a username and a password that protects that admin folder to keep us from getting in it. Okay. Now, two things you need to research. Uh, we did 
it's very similar to something like this in the basic missions. You want to take a look at Apache. Now if you remember in the basic missions, you looked at when you were doing Apache research, um, you probably ran across a file called .htaccess. What that file does is it hides folders and files. Well, apparently they're not running this here because we can see the admin folder. But take a look at Apache. Look up some information on Apache. There is a file that is used to hide particular pages, typically passwords, and see if you can find the name of that file. So just, just do a little bit of Google searching on Apache. So check that out. That's step number one. Now where this got me stuck, and I'll, when we get there I'll show it to you again, but you must run John the Ripper to break a hash that we're going to get this is the one that threw me. Um, I don't use John the Ripper a lot. I have some other programs that I like a little bit better. Um, every one of those, and I, I retried them again now. When I first did it, it didn't work. I tried it again. It doesn't work. Some massive hash breakers just fail on this one. They do not come back with the answer. John the Ripper always comes back with the answer. In which it's it's not a bad real case scenario. You will find out that some password crackers just cannot crack the password. And and you'll see why when we take a look at this hash. It's gonna look a little weird. So do a little bit of research on Apache and how to hide password files. You're looking for the name of a file. And then if you want to go as far as breaking the password, download John the Ripper. You can get, it, it's, it's very simple. Um, in fact, let me find my little thing here. Oops, I gotta get rid of this. You know, it's it, just Google. Um, now, typically I do this like on my Linux box, of course, if I was really doing some stuff, um, but I'm on my Windows box. So just do John the Ripper download. It's put out by a company called OpenWall. And go for the free versions. Um, if you're running Windows, that's this one here. Um, of course, there's a Linux one. There's some community ones. These are bigger ones. You don't really need these. So there's Pro for Linux, Pro for Mac OX. Windows, they can they, they want you to run Hash Suite. But either way, get, get the one you need for your OS. Download it. You just have to unzip it. Uh, it's, it's really it's a command-driven program. Uh, so there is no install routine. You just have to, when you download, like when I downloaded this Windows one, um, I think that was the one I downloaded. When you downloaded that one, it's just a, a, a zip file. Open it up, extract it. It'll make you a folder just called John, and then we'll be able to run it. So make sure you grab that if you want to break the password. If you don't, it's, it's not that big a deal. Um, you can see how I do it. Uh, I am running on Windows 10, so I can't install John the Ripper directly on Windows 10. I have it installed inside of a sandbox, inside of a virtual machine. Uh, so I'm going to run it through that. Um, but take a look at the Apache, and what is that file that, that hides the, the passwords? And if you want to break the password, download John the Ripper and um, extract it. Okay, so I'll give you your little 
dramatic pause here and we'll come back and we'll finish this thing up. Okay, very cool. Alright, so the first thing we want to do, we know we can't get into that admin folder because it's going to tell us that uh, it couldn't verify that we're authorized to access it. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to the main page. And I'm just going to go into any link. From that link, I'm going to get rid of anything at the top after the equal sign. I want to keep file equals because we want to open up a file. Now we do know it's in the images folder. It's in the admin folder. And if you were able to look up that Apache stuff, you found out that the name of the file in Apache that controls the passwords is called HTPA SSWD HT password. Now, what that's going to do is that's going to bring up the standard everyday page, but there's nothing here, which is where all the other patriotism pages and long live Bush and nuke the bastards, that's where their picture showed up. Well, there's something there. We just can't see it. So if we view the source, look down here. Doesn't matter which one you grab, they're both the same. There's one that says a href equals administrator colon and then a long code. Administrator is the username. Everything after that colon is the hash file. Now, I've been playing with hash files for a while. I can tell you I've never honestly ran across a hash file with dot 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 and one that ends in slash and more characters. Or one that has a slash in it. I'm not quite sure if this thing is... Well, it wouldn't be salted because it wouldn't be able to be broken. Uh, this is what makes it hard for other programs like CrackStation, uh, HashKiller, Rainbow Crack to bust it. John the Ripper, though, doesn't have any issues with it. It'll, it'll bust it in a matter of about a half a second. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is take this copy it and just paste it inside of you know a, a notepad document or or whatever any sort of you know, text file and I've already done that so I don't have to worry about doing it now but you paste it inside of a text file then I'm going to show you what we're going to do let me go ahead and minimize this mine's going to be a little bit slower because I am running a virtual machine in the back end Alright, here we go. Here's my virtual machine. Okay, what I have done, just so you can see, let me show you my computer and drive C. I have a folder here called John. There's a folder in it called John179 and a folder in there called Run. There is um, there's the John application. I also have on the root of C just a text document that I just called hash. And that's what we copied from that page. That's the administrator and that's the hash. Okay, so let's run John. Okay, 
So I drop to a command prompt and I'm inside of that run box. Now I'll just do a little directory, oops, do a little directory here so you can see what's in it. Okay, there is the John executable. Now, just for a straightforward crack, all I have to do is type John space and then the path to the text file that holds the hash which in my case is C colon oops colon backslash and I called it hash dot txt hit enter okay let's see oh maybe I didn't call it hash let me see what I called it I did that is on the local C. Let's try that again. John space C colon backslash hash dot T oops T X T. Oh, that's that's what it wants to run. It just wants to run a typical typical a different type of environment. And you know what, it's probably because I've already busted it, but that's okay. So let's take a look at something here. Hey, John 179. What's that other directory? It's doc. Make sure there's nothing inside of there that has changed and nothing has been updated, so that's okay. And let's do another directory here. There's my password list, which is okay. And let me do this. I think it just doesn't like where it was because I've already busted it from there before and I've never moved it so I'm just gonna take it I'm gonna copy it I'm gonna move it into John I'm gonna paste it there let's make sure it shows up in there hash.txt John and hash dot txt. I shouldn't have to put the path in it. And let me do a show. There we go. It just wanted me to show it. Since I already busted it, it didn't want to show it to me. So all I had to do, I just had to add on to the end of it, dash dash show, so it could show me the hash. So it really didn't matter where it was, I could have done it from the root. So you just type the name of the file, which is John, and then the path to get to the text file. And then again, it never hurts to do the dash dash show. If it's the first time it's been busted, it will uh, show it to you anyway show is on by default but if you try to bust it again it knows that you've already got it so it's not going to show it to you so you do the dash dash show what I come back with is administrator colon shadow that's the password so let me switch back over to here let me go back realistic seven I might as well do it from here since I'm already here I'm gonna go ahead and go to just the admin page in fact I probably have to go the long way into it let's go let's just go all the way back to here now I'm gonna do images slash admin it's going to ask me for the prompt well, we know the username is administrator the password 
a shadow. And we have successfully completed mission number seven. So the trick there was finding the admin folder was pretty simple. <clears throat> but of course it asked for the username and password and since they were running Apache because of the PHP pages uh, we had to find out how to get into the folder that stores the hash in which case that's .ht password once we find that file we just copy the hash paste it into whatever program that can break it and you may have to try a couple but paste it inside of any program that can break it you'll retrieve the hash go back to the site put the username and password in and the great thing is this is no alert to anybody because it is we didn't we didn't get in by any brute force attacks we got in with a legitimate username and password so we are in there so that my friends is mission number seven uh, that one had some tricky sections in it, but it's really just knowing Apache. So we've gone through, what, there were 11 basic missions. We've already gone through seven realistic missions. Uh, you guys and girls should be really getting really comfortable with HTML code, viewing the source, finding subfolders, uh, you're getting good at, at things like directory transversal, um, how to, you know, of course, view the source code to find hidden things inside the source code. Um, we've done a little bit of SQL injections. We've hit a huge amount of stuff. And really, all of this stuff is uh, incredibly important uh, and still widely used today even though this site is old this site has been up for quite a while all this stuff is still used today so hope you guys enjoyed it like the video if you did subscribe to the channel let me know what you think about it and I will be working on uh, mission 8 and hopefully mission 9 I got some things I got to get done today but uh, mission 8 and mission 9 hope to have those up sometime today. But until then, my friends, this is Malik.